Previously on Shiny Lock with A-Drive. I do want to evolve Pinocchio here, guys, and, and that is what we're going to do if I could find this Leaf Stone. Is that it? That is indeed the Leaf Stone, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are going to evolve our Nuzleaf here, our Pinocchio. It's, this is your time to shine, buddy. This is it for you. Look at him go. He is going to evolve, and he is going to look absolutely beautiful. I have faith. I have faith in this shot. I don't even think I've ever had a shiny shift tree before. This thing is going to look awesome. Oh my goodness. Tell me that doesn't look sick, guys. Are all your Pokemon ready? Of course they are. Let's go. Oh my goodness. So because he could have like crit us something. Like Polaris isn't exactly bulky as a star you, so it's not a huge deal. But we're going to be able to beat our rival here, uh, May, which is nice. I was actually really worried about this battle. Looks like the randomizer wasn't too kind to May this time. But here we are in route 20. This will be the route they were going to hunt our next Shiny on, guys. And. I'm going to try to skillfully dodge some trainers here. Because you know I don't like facing trainers. We've been skipping them on this playthrough. Usually I take on all the trainers and I just like haven't been doing it. Alright, here's the first encounter. So this is the one of the four Pokemon you guys are going to be able to vote for. And it is a Finneon. See that guy. Alright, let's see what we got here. So Finneon, what will be next? A Graveler? There's a very high chance I find the shiny and it kills itself. Drillbur? Ooh! To be involved too, right? I want you guys to be involved in the playthrough and uh, and be able to give me some thoughts too. And the last one is going to be a Bun Eerie, which is pretty sweet. So you guys are going to have the opportunity in the description below to check out the straw poll and vote between Shiny Bun Eerie, which is nice and pink, Drillbur, which I think is a really, really interesting looking Shiny, and it evolves into Excadrill, which kind of has some coolish purplish colors to it. Uh, gives the ground and steel type, which would be kind of nice. Bun Eerie would give us a normal type that has the potential to mega evolve into Low Punny. Although I don't know where you get the Mega Stone for that. Uh, Graveler is nice and gold and evolves into the Golden Nugget that is Golem. I would trade and evolve the Graveler if I did catch one. I could evolve it. That's fine. And then last but not least would be Finneon or Luminion. And I'm not entirely sure what their shiny looks like exactly, but um, I've never gone for it. But I think it's a, a slightly different color purple or something. So... on the eShop, yes, Creeper. But it's the exact same versions of red, blue, and yellow as the originals. They're not remakes. Another, another, uh... Oh, check the... Yes! We got it! Shine Trooper, baby! Let's go! Woohoo! Oh my god! Let's go, man! Oh, perfect timing! I was just complaining about how I don't like Pokemon Go and how I needed to get this shiny before I could film the shiny lock today. And there it is! All right. Well, I guess I have to. Ch oh my goodness, that's awesome, dude. That's so awesome, man. I was so worried I wasn't gonna be able to get this thing, and here it is, baby. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna be uh, filming this episode pretty soon. <laughs> oh man, Shiny Drover hype. Let's go, man. That's awesome, dude. So truthfully, my my morning got a little messed up because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to um to do the whole the whole thing here, but um. You know, I think we should be should be in pretty good shape. I can I can film the episode now. There's a level 41 drill bar too, so this thing is monstrous leveled. Um, but let's catch this thing, man. Look at it. It's so awesome looking. I'm so excited. So we got it in like 30 encounters this morning. That's not even that bad. I don't think I'm gonna attack it though. I think I'm just gonna throw ultra, like different Pokeballs at it. Let's uh let's just throw a luxury ball at it, see what happens, right? I guess. What's up, Jake? How's it going, everyone? Let's see if I can just catch it without trying to weaken it, because I don't want to, like, hurt it or have it hurt me. I don't know if that's going to be a bold strategy or not. Oh, please stay in the Pokeball. Oh, we got it! How awesome is that, guys? How awesome is that? All right, guys, there's uh, there's uh, uh, quite a few of you guys in here today, and I really, really need your help to get a cool nickname for this shiny Drillber here. One of the cool ideas I had... Oh my god, Willer P with a $22.26 donation saying kicking off the stream with a small high. Thank you so much, Willer Pete. I did have to go approve that, so I got it. Thank you so much, man. Shouts to Willer Pete, by the way, guys, for the big donation there coming through as being awesome as ever. Thank you, dude. That was really nice of you, man. Shouts to Willer Pete, guys. I did have to approve it, dude, so sorry it didn't pop up right away. But thank you so much, man. So that's awesome, dude. That is really, really cool. Shouts to this dude. Um, so it ends up getting converted to US dollars, so it's I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it ends up being, but thank you, dude. And Breaker of Habit is going to come through three months in a row. That was easy. Thank you so much, man. So one of the ideas for the nickname was Drillbert, so then we'll have Drillbert and Ernie. Now, Drillbert is going to evolve into a Excadrill, so maybe Drillbert isn't the best idea for a nickname. But thank you so much, Breaker of Habit, for three months of uh, sub hype in a row. Blue Polygon and Hermione's Patronus, thank you for the follow, guys. So what do you guys think of for nicknames? Doug? 
Dig Dug, Blue Dolph. Uh, just remember it evolves into an Excadrill, though. So, um, Dug, Ruben, um, Wibble. And King Toddy with a $5 donation saying Shiny Drober looks amazing. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Shout out to King Toddy, guys, coming through. King Toddy, Willerpede, guys, coming through with the hype. Uh, Ralph, Wibble, Toaf, um, Ernie. No, I'm not going to name it Ernie, dude. Um, Drill Drive, Dig Dug, Crimson Slash. Why are we calling it Dig Dug? Excadrillbert. <laughs> Excadrillbert and Ernie. I was going to call him Drillbert. That's what I was going to call him. Um, I don't know, man. Metal Mole. Nah. Dust Storm. Drillbert. Drillbert. I like Drillbert, dude. I just feel like Drillbert, if it evolves into, when it evolves into Excadrill, it's not going to be as cool of a nickname. But I do still think Drillbert's a cool name. I'm going to go with Drillbert, man, because then we'll have Drillbert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Yeah, I got to do Drillbert, dude. I got to do it. We got to do Drillbert. I have to, man. I think that's such a cool nickname. Is it a male, though? It's a male. We're going Drillbert. 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 Two L's or one L, guys? I think Drillbert is good. Yeah, I think we got to do two L's. We're going to call it Drillbert, and it's going to be an awesome name. Right, buddy? I like it. It's a pretty high level, though, but it'll be fine, dude. So let's go check it out, man. Let's go check out what we got here for our little Drillbert. Uh, let's let's get some nature guesses in the chat guys get your nature guesses going Let me just go to the Pokemon Center I might as well I gotta go over there anyway So get your nature guesses going in the chat for this little guy uh, He ends up being a little bit higher of a level So I probably won't grind the rest of the levels that I was going to and I'll just hop into the episode on the on the for the gym here So uh, it does evolve in one level, but I still like the name Drobert even though it's gonna evolve in one level I don't really care I think it's a funny name. Even if it's Excadrill, people know that it started from a drill bird. It's not a big deal. All right, so I see lots of nature guesses in the chat. Let's take a look and see what we got here. It is going to be... That's a terrible nature. That's modest. That's about as bad as it gets. All right. Well, it's got Earthquake, Swords Dance, Sandstorm, and Submission. This thing is a monster. Uh, worst nature it could possibly have. But that's okay. That's okay. So... There's that, man. There's that nice little Drillber, man. Our shiny Drillber, modest nature. Morzilla guessed that right. A couple of you guys guessed that right. And here's uh, Ernie. So we have Drillbert and Ernie now on the squad. These two little guys are partners in crime here. Drillbert and Ernie. I have the worst natures in the world, guys. Like, seriously, all my Pokemon have the worst natures. <laughs> we can still love you, Drillbert. We will still love you, Drillbert. And it is going to be okay, my friend. It is going to be okay. I'm just glad to have you as part of the squad, Drill. Thank you, buddy, for coming to our team here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that's awesome, man. We just got the Shiny Drillbert, and uh, that's for the Shiny Lock, of course. So, we'll cut and jump right over to the YouTube episode. Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive, bringing you guys episode 16 of the first ever Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. If you guys are super duper hyped on this playthrough, still show your love on that like button down below. I think we can hit 1,000 likes yet again. And just remember, 1,000 likes on Tuesday and Thursday's episode will get you guys a bonus episode on Friday. Of course, you must have just seen the Shiny reaction for Shiny Drober, our nice and shiny drill Burt, our newest member of our party which actually funny enough guys i'm recording this right now it's um tuesday morning and obviously the video goes up this afternoon for you guys i was just live streaming to get this drill bird it took us 527 encounters and i didn't have the drill bird before this morning but i was like let me hop on the stream let me try to get it and maybe the episode will be late but i ended up getting it in like 28 encounters this morning or not even 25 encounters this morning and i got it right off the bat so really awesome i ended my stream in less than 25 minutes and now we're here with our shiny drill bird and things are looking awesome. So let's take a quick team recap really quick before we jump into anything because I did mention I was going to do some grinding and I did a little bit uh, just this morning though just while I was going for the Drillbur so I didn't get much progress but we got Polaris still at 27 so definitely could use a little bit of a boost. Drillbur is actually 41 because of the way things worked out. Um, he's got Sandstorm and Sand Force so really kind of interesting that we're pairing Sandstorm together with him. I'm thinking about leaving that on there because it could come in handy. Fortunately it's modest nature so kind of bad but we do have Earthquake. I'm going to definitely take some mission off though I think in a minute. I gave him the soft sand as well. Uh, we've got Frostbite here at 33, so did gain one level. He's got the black glasses going with the bite. 
Icy Wind, Headbutt, and Protect. And of course, we got our Silk Scarf Pinocchio here, level 33 with only one life left, but did pick up the Hurricane. We've got uh, Spyro here, who did just learn Crunch at level 33, and I gave him the Safety Goggles just to give him an item. And last but not least, we've got Ernie here, Drillbert and Ernie going partners, going partners in crime here. Uh, Storm Throw, Rock, Tomb, Rock, Smash, and Body Slide, so or Body Slam. So let's take a look really quickly and just see if there's any uh, moves I can give give Drillbert here, because I definitely don't want him to have. Um, submission, that's really kind of a wasted move. Um, whereas in instead I can give him maybe Rock Throw or whatever, Rock Tomb. Yeah, he's gonna learn Rock Tomb. So I'll give Rock Tomb to him instead. So let me, let me do that. Um, let's give him Rock Tomb instead of Submission. The reason why I, would, I don't want Submission is I believe Submission does give Recoil. Yeah, it does. I don't want, I don't want Recoil. I'd rather give him Brick Break, not Miss, things like that, you know what I mean? So. Anyway, this should be a pretty action-packed episode, guys. We're going to jump into the gym leader here, Winona, and her gym. So we're going to hop into the flying gym for this episode. And we've got our new partner, Drillber, here. Drillbert uh, by our side. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about our question of the day today. Uh, if you guys didn't see a Pokemon, I might make a separate video about this, too. Uh, in addition to this, it's just a matter of me having the time to do it and whatever else. But... So Pokemon did release their Pokemon Super Bowl commercial on their Pokemon YouTube channel. So it's just YouTube.com slash Pokemon, I think. Um, and they did release the Pokemon Super Bowl commercial. Now, there's a lot of theories that it's not finished or it's going to be shortened. And I've heard different things from different articles, stuff like that. But I did want to get your guys' general thoughts on the Pokemon uh, Super Bowl commercial, whether you guys really dug it uh, right off the bat or whether you're kind of like a little bit hesitant about it or whether you thought it was kind of dumb. I mean, I could tell you guys, like, first of all, let me start this by saying... I am not an expert, man. Like, the guys who made this commercial, the team that worked on the commercial, the, the team of marketing executives who work at Pokemon, they have a heck of a lot more experience than I do, guys. Let's just be honest here. They have a lot more experience in the field of marketing. They have a lot more experience in advertising and so on and so forth. So take what I'm going to say kind of with a grain of salt and understand that it's just... It's just, you know, kind of my thoughts here, just my initial thoughts. So uh, I did, however, work for a market research advertising agency, one of the top three in the world. And I worked specifically in advertising on different campaigns. I worked on a lot of Super Bowl ads, guys. Uh, that did so much damage. My goodness. Uh, actually, that did so much to the point where I feel like I should switch. Um, what do I switch into, though? I can't go into Drillbird. That was a pedal dance, dude. Like, what? Um, I guess I could stay in here and just hope it's not a crit. That seems like a really stupid decision, though. Maybe I should go into Pinocchio. Pinocchio, what is Pinocchio gonna do? I mean, I could at least take the pedal dance, right? So, um, you know, I did work at mar in a market research company, and I did work in advertising, and I worked on a bunch of Super Bowl commercials for like Budweiser and stuff like that a couple years ago. So I have a lot of experience in this area, and uh, you know, so this thing's gonna get confused due to fatigue. Let's hit him with a fake out, and then maybe a hurricane. See if we can hit it. Um, fake out size. I gotta turn the animations back on too. I just realized. My bad, guys. See if I can hit this hurricane. I hit it. Not bad. Oh my god, he lived it. He's gonna go down to confusion. How did he live that hurricane? Jeez, Cherim. You're actually like a little bit more bulky than I thought you were. Um, but honestly, the ad was kind of weird, guys. It was like they're, they're not really pointing the ad towards anything specific in terms of um, Pokemon Go, which is what I thought was going to be the case. I thought it was going to be a Pokemon Go specific ad. That, that was my actual guess. And they didn't do that. It rather, uh, a hip out on. Uh, rather, instead of doing that, they decided that they were going to focus the ad on Pokemon 20, which is a little bit different here. Do I think Pinocchio can live a hit? That is the question. So obviously, I have a very good advantage here, Pinocchio versus uh, versus Hippowdon, but can Hippowdon knock me out in one hit? Let's go for the Leaf Blade, man. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Go down. Don't kill me. He's going to go for takedown. I could easily live that. Okay, so we're safe and sound here. Although, that was close. That was close. I think another Leaf Blade will do it here. This is tough, man. Even at, like, level 30. We're actually higher levels in this thing, and it's still scary. It's a hip pout on. Jeez. Um, but, yeah, kind of talking about this commercial, man. They didn't they didn't even make it about Pokemon Go. The commercial is kind of, like, in between a lot of different things. It's like, all right, so this is Pokemon. It's the Pokemon 20th anniversary. So they're kind of pointing the direction at the Pokemon 20th anniversary as opposed to pointing the direction at Pokemon Go, which is an interesting marketing strategy, right? I mean, it's like, hey, instead of getting you guys hooked on Pokemon Go, let's tell you guys a little bit about the 20th year anniversary and that we're going to be doing big things this year and this is what pokemon is you should be excited about pokemon this is what pokemon looks like now but it's not though that's not what pokemon is like that virtual reality stadium filled with like pokemon stuff that was super duper cool right but that's not pokemon man that's not what pokemon is right now you know uh so as a consumer and uh researchers kind of a little weird man it was just like a weird vibe and i 
I didn't really know how to feel about it, and I was a little bit disappointed in all honesty in terms of the fact that it just seemed a little bit lame. It just seemed a little bit lame in all honesty. Um, now, there's theories that the video cut off at the end, and, and there was a lot of cool little teasers in there, man. You had, like, the chess piece, which was Neo King. You had, like, the HM Surf. Like, go go look in the comment section of the Pokemon video. There's so many little hidden hidden treasures in there in that video, which made the video really cool in that in that regard. I still have to turn the animations back on, my bad. Um, it, it made the video kind of cool in that regard because it added all these little, like, Easter eggs in a way, but simultaneously... You know, it still didn't really give us what we were looking for, you know, and I, maybe I'm just setting myself up for disappointment because I've been waiting for this next Pokemon game announcement and I'm more and more thinking it's going to be at the end of the year now. That's what better way to... Oh my god, he just gave me a grass gem. So there's a very small chance during the randomizer that trainers will just hand you random items and that was one of the times. Um... So, you know, maybe maybe I'll just be disappointed regardless until they announce a new Pokemon game, and that's unfortunate too, but I'm thinking it it's going to be probably towards the end of the year now, just based on how they're kind of positioning things. But anyway, I reached out to a couple people that I used to work with. My fiance actually works on the analytics team for the company I used to work for, and uh, obviously she works very closely with all the rest of the people on the analytics team. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I'm just curious, you know, what is your thoughts and what is the rest of the team's thoughts in terms of you know this commercial and, and how it's perceived and, and kind of moving forward and there are all general consensus was like they were so tuned out of the commercial like pretty early on just because if you're not most the, the casual like viewer of the Super Bowl isn't gonna pick up on pick up on those little things like I had to watch the video so many times to even notice half the stuff you know so that's kind of another thing uh, so here's a very interesting situation we're in here um, Scrafty and Polaris, I can Dazzling Gleam, which is four times super effective, but I'm thinking that this thing might be able to hit us really hard. So it's probably better to be safe than sorry, and I'm just going to switch to Ernie. I really wanted to just Dazzling Gleam there, but it's not worth it. Even though Ernie uh, is, is actually on its last life now that I realize. Payback, yeah, I probably could have stayed in, but that payback might have done a lot. We got the Rocky Helmet too. Look how much Rocky Helmet does, it's just nuts to me. Um... So, the whole, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of like got mixed feelings about it, you know? I really want to like it, but simultaneously I just don't think it gave gave us what we wanted, you know? It, it's, I don't know, they didn't even announce anything. That's like, that's the thing. Yeah, they're spending a crazy amount of money on the Super Bowl commercial, they don't even announce anything. But, who knows, maybe there will be more, maybe the ad is cut off, maybe that's only part of the ad. There's still plenty to do. And then what else do they do? They released Pokemon Pikachu Detective or Detective Pikachu, whatever the heck it's called. This morning, they announced that that's happening too. So more Pokemon stuff. And if you're a Pokemon fan, which obviously if you're watching this video, you probably are. This is all good news, right? This is good news that they're doing this stuff. It's just a matter of like how they're going to execute it and whether it's just going to be a bunch of flops. Because like I, I think all of most of us would agree that we would want uh, Quality over quantity, so we'd rather have a couple really good games. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! I just get bodied by a psychic, dude! It's just a psychic from a Lunatone, man! Get out of here, dude. That was really annoying. That was really, really annoying. Alright. Well, alrighty then. Uh, I mean, I can go to Pinocchio, I guess. That was really annoying. Does this thing know Moonblast at level 32? Am I about to get Moonblasted right now? Don't do that to me, dude. Don't do that to me, Lunatone. I'm not ready for that. Just take this leaf blade and just just die. That was annoying. Polaris just lost a life for like no reason, man. I thought I could live a psychic and go for a surf. Polaris is weak. Jeez. We need to evolve this thing. We need to evolve Polaris ace out. I just lost a life on Polaris. That was so stupid. Okay, well, let me go heal up, I guess, because I want Polaris to be able to get the experience to level up. I also need to do some research on where these, these water stones are, guys, because we're going to need that. We're going to need a water stone very, very soon. That was so stupid. That was such a stupid way to lose life. I'm sorry, guys. That's that's. I thought I could live a hit. I thought it was a Lunatone, dude. Like, it was a Lunatone. There was no reason for me to... Like, what's your special defense stat, Polaris? What are you doing? I know you're, like, a few levels low, but... What is your stats? 45, bro? Like, come on. I think it's just that the HP is so low. I think it's just because it's got such low HP, it's just not going to live any hits. That's annoying. Urgh. It's a psychic from a Lunatone. Get out of here. So now Drobert's the only one who's uh, got all its lives. Well, that was fun. That was so annoying. Um, yeah, so I think we'd all agree that we'd rather have, you know, a couple really good games and rather than like a bunch of little games. So now it's like red, blue, yellow on the eShop, which are just the re-relaunches of them. It's not a remake. You got Pikachu Detective. You got Pokemon Fighters. 
I think, uh, you know, they're finally finishing the Super Mystery Dungeon releases for everyone. Because uh, I think it wasn't even released in Europe yet. It might not even be released in Europe yet at the time of this. I have no idea. Um, you know, and it's like, dude, I can tell you one thing that every Pokemon fan wants right now, or most Pokemon fan want fans want. We want Pokemon Z, or we want Gen 7, man. That's what we want. So, close out the 20th year anniversary with that, and I think you're going to have a lot of happy people, myself included. And I know it's like, you're just, you know, beating on a dead horse, or whatever the term is called. Uh, beating a dead horse because everyone's like oh, I want these new Pokemon games give me the new I get it dude I'm in the same boat, but uh, there's a whirlipede. That's kind of cool um, It's just like I don't want to wait, you know, I don't want to wait anymore I've been playing Oras for a while But uh, anyway, that's 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 my rants about the Pokemon Super Bowl So feel free to let me know your thoughts guys um, I wonder if Drillbert is gonna be able to take I think Drillbert can beat this whirlipede. Let's get Drillbert some action here, buddy Show your show your true colors, man. This is the first time you're getting some action here. Look at him. He's so beautiful. So Drillbert actually evolves at 31. So it evolves the next time it grows a level, basically, uh, which is kind of interesting. So Rock Tomb does 60, so it does 120. Earthquake actually does more than Rock Tomb does. So we're going to click Earthquake here, even though Rock Tomb's super effective. Look at that damage from Drillbert, dude. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Look at his little nose. He's so cute. I'm just glad that we have Drillbert and Ernie on the same team right now, and... He's got Earthquake, so he's just going to Earthquake everything, and it's going to be awesome. And he's going to evolve into an Excadrill very soon. He just gotta, has to grow one level. He's got to grow one level. Obviously, he's, like, super high-leveled in comparison to the rest of the team, but I figured it kind of makes up for the fact that Polaris isn't, so we'll just leave it there. But uh, I think it's time we take on the gym leader, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time that we do it. It's time to rumble here if I could figure out how to get around this little puzzle. I'm sure I can. There we go. All right. Are we ready to rock and roll against Winona already? Do I really want Staryu to be the one to lead? I really need the experience, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. Let's do it, man. Winona, talk to me, chick. What does Winona have to say? I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. Ooh. I have become one with the bird Pokemon. I have soared the skies. She soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we will triumph with grace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Witness the elegant choreography of my bird Pokemon and me. Chances are she's not even going to have any bird Pokemon. But I am a little bit worried about what her Pokemon are going to get randomized into because she has like Swana and stuff. So she's got a hair cross. That's cool. That That's not going to just body my entire team right now. In fact, it does pretty much body my entire team. Xbox, I did not tell you to turn on at any point during this situation. Level 33 hair cross. Okay, so I do have a switch in for this, and that is uh, Ernie. I'm going to try to turn my Xbox off. I don't even know why I turned on. So Ernie has the Rocky Helmet, so hopefully I can live a hit from this thing uh, relatively easy. Go for a Bug-type move. Brick Break. So I can probably eat that. Yeah, we're going to eat that. Ernie's a champion. Look how little that does. And he gets the Rocky Helmet damage, which is good. So I'm going to go for the uh, the Rock Tomb here instead of the Body Slam, just because of the potential uh, defense drop, or speed drop. I'd rather get the speed drop. I do have to heal after this, too. This is nuts. All right, so let's hit him with a rock tomb. That does a good amount, and we're going to get the speed drop. I do have to go for a hyper potion. Kind of annoying to use the potion right off the bat here. Um, but I don't really have any switch-ins to fighting-type Pokemon, really. Uh, once Polaris evolves, that'll really help that issue. But for the time being, we're a little bit weak to fighting types. So he's going to go for the Brick Break again. I don't want him to get a Guts Boost, which is why I don't want to Body Slam him, because he could be Guts Boosted. So I'm thinking that my best play here is actually just a Rock Tomb again. He might heal up this time. No, he's going to Brick Break. So if I hit this Rock Tomb, we should be able to knock him out with the Rock Tomb plus, yeah, Rocky Helmet. So good. So Heracross goes down. So first Pokemon is gone, and it was a Heracross. So that was kind of scary. Luckily, we had Ernie with the Rocky Helmet. Next Pokemon is a Swoobat. That's very, very scary, and I do have to switch against Swoobat. Um, I switch into... Can't go to Pinocchio. We got to go to Spyro. Um... We have to go to Spyro here. Now, luckily for us, Swoobat is very fast, but not very strong, generally speaking. So, I uh, should be able to live any hits from a Swoobat. Uh, he's got Air Slash, so that's fine with me. We can eat that up. Good thing we switched. That did not too much. Um, and I can actually go for either a Rock Tomb or a Crunch. So, Crunch is 80, uh, 80 base power, so it ends up being 160. Rock Tomb is 60. It gets to 120, but you get the stab on it as well. So, they end up being the same, right? So, let's go for Crunch. Uh, my math might have been a little off there. No, it should have been 180 instead of 160. So actually, Rock Tomb was more, but that's okay. We're just going to go with the, the Crunch. It's going to knock him out, because Swoobat 
is like a paper bag. He is like a paper bag. In comes Galvantula. Why? Why does Galvantula body my entire team? Because it does. Okay, so let's go to Drillbird here and just hope that uh, we can beat this Galvantula somehow. Because Bug plus Electric is incredibly scary against my team. Um, and he's gonna go for the Gastro Acid, which means if I'm poisoned, I think it slows me down or something. What does it do? It's a, it suppresses my ability. That's fine. Do I Rock Tomb or do I Earthquake? Rock Tomb means I'm faster next turn anyway, so. He's gonna go for the Bug Bites. That's good that he doesn't have anything else to hit me. Oh my goodness, that does so much. That was a crit, though. Alright, so we're gonna hit him with a Rock Tomb. It's not gonna kill him, but it does lower his speed, and I believe an Earthquake will kill him now. And I'm faster too, so Drillbird's gonna pick up this nice kill against the Galvantula. This is an intense matchup here. Dude, Galvantula, Heracross, Woobat, what's your last Pokemon, Winona? You're scaring me. You have a Swalot. Okay, so that's fine. I actually think that Drillbird can just kill it with Earthquake. I might be overestimating Drillbird here, but I'm a really high level. Yeah, goodbye, Swalot. Woohoo! Gonna take down the gym leader, Winona. That's our sixth gym that we have beaten. And we made through without uh, too much of a hitch. We did, of course, we did lose a life on Polaris, which is my stupidity, but I recognize your talent with the gym badge. There it is. The, uh, the, the wing, wing badge, the feather badge. With the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Uh, you can even use the HM fly outside of battle, and I'm going to give you the TM for Roost, which is relatively useful because I could give that to Spyro if I wanted to. Uh, with this move, you can, I think, anyway, you can restore the HP by up to half by landing on the ground and restoring its, uh, it's feathers. Uh, be careful though, because you'll lose your flying typing. Alrighty, so that was that, man. We we're able to beat Winona here, the flying type gym leader. It wasn't easy. I'm, I think we made it look easy, but it definitely wasn't easy. Um, in fact, we actually probably got pretty lucky there. Heracross, Galvantula, Swalot, Swoobat was the team. So, I mean, that's a pretty powerful team, all things considered. I mean, Heracross is scary in itself. So, Heracross is one of those Pokemon that is way better than its base stat total tells you. So. Um, I think I think we're uh, we're in good shape here. I'm gonna heal up But I did want to give a brief few seconds of fame here to Blaziken level 85 guys legitimately leveled to level 85 He has beaten so many uh, so many drill burrs, frost, uh, you know snow runs Aerodactyls uh, Pinocchios yeah Blaziken has beaten all the family members of these Pokemon down to get all the way to 85 legitimately on this playthrough so shout out to this legend for being awesome and i think that's where we're gonna wrap up guys so let me know your thoughts on the uh, pokemon super bowl commercial definitely definitely leave a like button uh leave a like rating if you haven't done so yet and hopefully you'll appreciate the grind there for the drober as i was able to get it today and get you guys your episode on time i'm very proud of that uh that was very lucky so anyway that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you guys did enjoy my name is dan i'll go by a drive and i'm gonna catch you guys on thursday peace